Hello my dear students, this is Akash SD and welcome to the ASD Physics classes. Hope so, you all are doing really great and preparing for the exam with full focus. So we are going to learn students electric flux. So let's see one by one. So students, the topic is the electric flux. Now what is the electric flux? Electric flux we are going to see from the two point of view, one graphically and after that mathematically. So let's learn graphically. So what is that students see please? Electric flux over an area in an electric field is a measure of number of field lines crossing that area is it that means if any area is there more number of field lines are crossing the area flux will be the more if in case field lines are parallel to the surface not crossing it that time what will happen electric flux will be zero okay mathematically what happens that let's see please mathematically electric flux passing through an area is the dot product of electric field vector and area vector. As of now, we know area is scalar, but for electric flux, area is a vector quantity because orientation of the area also matters. Okay, so see here, please here for open surface. Whenever open surface is there, electric flux is given by phi equal to integration. We can write here E dot dA. And if in case my electric field is the constant value, directly we can write here vector E dot vector A. For closed surface, for closed surface, what will happen that here? For closed surface, electric flux is given by closed integration vector E dot vector dA. Okay, vector dA. Even we can write dS also, no problem. Okay, and here we will deal with the two kinds of area. One will be the open area and another one will be the closed area. So remember that here, in case of open area, open area, whatever is the direction of the electric field in the same direction, we will take area vector. Let's take for example, one of my open area is this one here, okay? So if electric field in this direction, we will take area vector in this direction. And for the second situation, let's take here, uh, again, this is my open area and now electric field left side here. So area vector, we will take which side, we will take area vector left side. So whatever is the direction of the electric field, same is the direction of the area. For which kind of surface? Open surface. After that, if in case any kind of closed surface is there, so in that situation, area vector will be always outward, very simple, no? And that one will learn by the questions also, no problem. But first see important points. So what are the important points, students? First one, electric flux is a scalar quantity, but still it can be positive also, it can be negative also, and it can be zero also, because electric flux vector E dot vector A, that means E A cos theta. So it depends upon the value of theta. If the theta is the acute angle, flux will be positive. Theta 90 degree, flux will be zero. And if the theta is the obtuse angle, like 90 to 180 degree, in that situation, electric flux can be negative also. Please remember that. SI unit instruments. So you know very well, electric flux is given by E dot A. That means E A cos theta. Electric field, we can write Newton per coulomb. Area is the meter square. So we can write here, Newton meter square per coulomb. Or electric field, we can also write volt per meter also, okay? So volt per meter into meter square, it will become here volt meter. So you can write this unit also, you can write this unit also, no problem. Next one is strength, dimensional formula here. Now, so dimensional formula, we can see very well from here itself. Newton means formula ML T power minus two. Meter square means L square. By Coulomb, Coulomb means AT, but it will go in a numerator. That means what will happen? A power minus one and T power minus one. Just simplify this, you will get the dimensional formula. No need to mug up the dimensional formula, have to understand the formula. Okay, students. Next one, please see, please. When field lines leave or flow out of a closed surface, then flux is positive. After that, we will learn all these things through the question. Next one, when field lines enter or flow into a closed surface, then electric flux will be negative. Entering flux, negative. Outgoing flux, positive. For which surface? Closed surface. And the very, very important point is students here, please. Total electric flux through a closed surface in a uniform electric field is always zero. Uniform electric field, closed surface, any shape of the closed surface, electric flux, how much? Zero. Okay, students. So let's learn all these things by the question. So this question is very important for the NEET point of view or J point of view also. Let's see students here. See, consider an electric field, this one 3 into 10 power 3 I cap. What is the flux through the square of side 10 centimeter? If normal to its plane, makes a 60 degree angle with the x-axis here. Okay, so see here, please here, this is my x-axis and electric field also in this direction. Electric field is also along the x-direction. Now, if we talk about the area, area is something like this here, something like this, because 
एरिया वेक्टर इज मेकिंग हाउ मच एंगल एरिया वेक्टर इज मेकिंग एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री हेयर ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेक्स हेयर प्लीज हेयर इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लेक्स फॉर्मला वी नो ई डॉट हेयर और वी कैन राइट हेयर ई ए कॉस थीटा ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हाउ मच गिवन हेयर थ्री इंटू टेन पावर थ्री एरिया एस साइड इज गिवन टेन सेंटीमीटर एरिया मीन्स साइड स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर सो टेन टू दी पावर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स हाउ मच है टेन टू दी पावर माइनस टू विल राइट है टेन टू दी पावर माइनस टू इन टू कॉस सिक्सटी कॉस सिक्सटी वैल्यू स्टूडेंट्स वन बाई टू सो इट विल बिकम हेयर थ्री इंटू टेन इंटू कॉस सिक्सटी हाउ मच है वन बाई टू सो इट विल कम हेयर फिफ्टीन न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर कुलम वेरी इजी ओके नेक्स्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स जे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक् फील्ड इज गिवन बाई दिस वन द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स थ्रू ए सरफेस एरिया थर्टी मीटर स्क्वायर लाइंग इन द वाइजेट प्लेन इज हाउ मच सो रिमर दैट वन थिंग वेन एवर द एरिया लाइंग इन द वाइजेट प्लेन देन एरिया वैक्टर इज ऑलवेज नॉर्मल टू द सर्फेस एंड बाई डिफॉल्ट वी कैन टेक पॉजिटिव एक्स एक्सिस नेगेटिव एक्स एक्स एल्सो ओके बट इन द क्वेश्चन इन आई जई दे हैव गिवेन थर्टी आई के आई एम जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग द क्वेश्चन ओके सो वट विल अपन डेट हिस्टूडेंट्स दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स इज गिवेन बाई वैक्टर ए डॉट वैक्टर ए जस्ट रेड ऑन एयर सिक्स आई कैप प्लस फाइव जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप एंड एरिया वैक्टर हाउ मच देयर थर्टी आई कैप सो वट इज एपन डेट हेयर कोफिशियंट ऑफ आई कैप एंड आई कैप ओनली वी हैव टू टेक बिकॉज जे कैप डॉट आई कैप जीरो के कैप डॉट आई कैप इज ऑल्सो जीरो सो इट विल जस्ट बिकम हेयर सिक्स इंटू थर्टी आंसर हाउ मच इट विल कम वन एट्टी इन एस आई यूनिट डैट मीन्स न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर कुलम और यू कैन राइट वोल्ट मीटर ऑल्सो Now, students, my last question because I have told you incoming flux negative, outgoing flux is positive. So, see here, please. Last question: A cylinder is placed in a uniform electric field with axis parallel to the field. Find the total flux through the cylinder. How much here? So, see here, students. Here, this is my surface area. Is there? No. This side I have taken left. This side I have taken right. And electric field in which direction? Electric field in this direction here. So, students, can you tell to me what is the area vector direction? What I told you always outward here. So here area outward, here also area outward. Okay. Now after that, what will happen? That here now total flux. Total flux will be what? Total flux will be phi left surface, phi right surface, and phi curved surface here. So students, if you see the left surface here, left surface, see please. Area in this direction and electric field in this direction, making how much angle? One eighty degree and cos one eighty minus one. So E A cos one eighty. That means it will come here minus E A. So you can see the incoming flux is the negative. After that, you see this surface here. Area vector, area vector outside. Electric field is also in this direction outward. So here it is making how much angle? Zero degree. That means E A cos zero. That means plus E A. And for the curved surface, what will happen at all the points? Electric field lines are parallel to the surface; they are not cutting the surface. That means flux will be how much? Zero. Hence, you can see, students, whenever any closed surface is placed in a uniform electric field, what will happen? The flux will be always zero, students.